Welcome to the global defense battle. The Type 99 tank, also known as ZTZ-99, is one of China's most advanced main battle tanks. Developed by Norinco, it was designed to replace older tanks like the Type 88 in the Chinese military. The primary purpose of the Type 99 is to provide superior firepower, mobility, and protection on the modern battlefield. It entered service in 2001 and has been tailored to meet the needs of high-tech warfare. On the other hand, the M1 Abrams is the backbone of the U.S. Army's armored forces. Introduced in 1980, it was developed to counter evolving threats during the Cold War. Designed by General Dynamics Land Systems, its main role is to dominate in tank versus tank combat, protect infantry, and provide unmatched battlefield support. Over the years, the Abrams has undergone continuous upgrades to enhance its armor, firepower, and mobility, ensuring it remains a formidable force in modern warfare. And today, we will compare both of these tanks, China's Type 99 versus United States M1 Abrams. So, let's start. Talking about the design first, the Type 99 tank's design features an angular welded turret with modular composite and reactive armor, providing enhanced protection. The hull is approximately 7 meters long, 3.7 meters wide, and 2.35 meters high. The tank weighs between 54 to 58 tons, depending on the variant. The crew consists of three members, the driver seated at the front center of the hull, and the commander and gunner positioned side by side in the turret. The inclusion of an autoloader for the main gun reduces the crew size compared to tanks requiring a manual loader. While the internal space is optimized for functionality, it is relatively compact, which may affect crew comfort during extended operations. On the other hand, the US M1 Abrams is a main battle tank renowned for its robust design and battlefield performance. It features a low-profile turret and a heavily armored hull, utilizing advanced composite armor for superior protection. The tank measures approximately 9.77 meters in length with the gun forward, 3.66 meters in width, and 2.44 meters in height with a weight ranging from 54 tons in the original M1 version to over 66 tons in later variants like the M1A2. The Abrams accommodates a four-person crew, the driver located at the front center of the hull, and the commander, gunner, and loader situated in the turret. The interior is designed with crew safety and efficiency in mind, offering relatively more space and comfort compared to other tanks, which can be beneficial during prolonged missions. Overall, both the Type 99 and M1 Abrams tanks exhibit distinct design philosophies reflective of their country's military doctrines. Talking about the engine and power, the Type 99 tank, China's advanced main battle tank, is powered by a 1,500 horsepower liquid-cooled V12 twin-turbo diesel engine. This engine provides a power-to-weight ratio of approximately 27.78 horsepower per ton, enabling the tank to reach a top speed of 80 km per hour on roads and 60 km per hour off-road. The Type 99 utilizes a torsion bar suspension system, which enhances its mobility across various terrains. It has an operational range between 600 to 800 kilometers, allowing it to conduct extended missions without frequent refueling. This mobility ensures that the Type 99 can effectively operate alongside mechanized infantry units, maintaining the pace required for coordinated assaults. On the other hand, the US M1 Abrams is equipped with a Honeywell AGT 1500 multi-fuel gas turbine engine, delivering 1,500 horsepower. This engine allows the Abrams to achieve a top speed of 72 km per hour on paved roads and approximately 48 km per hour off-road. The tank employs a torsion bar suspension system with rotary shock absorbers, providing stability and smooth handling over rough terrain. With a fuel capacity of 1,909 liters, the M1 Abrams has an operational range of about 426 km on roads. Its robust engine and suspension system enable the Abrams to keep pace with mechanized infantry, ensuring seamless integration into combined arms operations. Overall, both the Type 99 and M1 Abrams tanks are engineered for high mobility and performance on the battlefield. Coming to the weapons and armaments, the Type 99 tank, China's advanced main battle tank, is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore main gun. This versatile weapon can fire various ammunition types, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds, high-explosive anti-tank shells, and guided anti-tank missiles, enhancing its capability to engage different targets effectively. The tank's secondary armament comprises a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun aligned with the main gun. The 125mm main gun, complemented by an autoloader system, achieves a rate of fire of approximately 8 rounds per minute. Its advanced fire control system and stabilization mechanisms contribute to high accuracy, enabling effective engagement of enemy armor at considerable distances. On the other hand, the US M1 Abrams main battle tank features a 120mm M256 smoothbore cannon as its primary weapon. 
This formidable gun fires a range of ammunition, including APF SDS and heat rounds, designed to penetrate advanced enemy armor. Secondary armament includes a 12.7mm M2 HB heavy machine gun operated by the commander and two 7.62mm M240 machine guns, one coaxial with the main gun and another mounted near the loader's hatch. The M1 Abrams relies on a human loader, allowing a rate of fire of about 6 rounds per minute. Its sophisticated fire control system, incorporating laser rangefinders and thermal imaging, ensures exceptional accuracy, enabling the tank to effectively engage and destroy enemy targets at long ranges. Overall, both the Type 99 and M1 Abrams tanks are equipped with powerful main guns capable of firing a variety of ammunition types to counter diverse threats. Talking about the armor, the Type 99 tank employs a composite armor system that integrates modular composite materials and explosive reactive armor to enhance protection against various threats. While specific armor thickness details are classified, estimates suggest it offers protection equivalent to over 1,000 mm of rolled homogeneous armor. The tank's survivability is further augmented by an active protection system designed to detect and intercept incoming threats, such as anti-tank guided missiles. Regarding visibility, the driver is positioned at the center front of the hull, equipped with a single forward-facing periscope that includes night vision capabilities, providing adequate forward visibility. The commander and gunner, seated in the turret, have access to advanced optics and periscopes, enhancing situational awareness and target acquisition. On the other hand, the US M1 Abrams tank features advanced composite armor, commonly referred to as Chabam armor, which combines layers of steel, ceramics, and other materials to provide robust protection against both kinetic energy penetrators and chemical energy rounds. In later variants, this armor is reinforced with depleted uranium layers, significantly enhancing its defensive capabilities. While exact armor thickness is classified, the design prioritizes crew survivability. The M1 Abrams is equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System, which has demonstrated effectiveness in intercepting incoming threats during testing. The driver's station, located at the front center of the hull, offers good forward visibility through three periscopes, with the central periscope often equipped with night vision devices. The commander and gunner, situated in the turret, benefit from advanced sighting systems, including thermal imaging and periscopes, providing comprehensive situational awareness and target engagement capabilities. Overall, both the Type 99 and M1 Abrams tanks are equipped with sophisticated armor systems and active protection measures designed to maximize crew survivability on the modern battlefield. Regarding situational awareness, the Type 99 tank is equipped with advanced situational awareness systems, including the ISFCS-212 fire control system with an infrared automatic target tracker, allowing for effective target engagement while on the move. The gunner's thermal sight offers magnifications of 5x and 11.4x, with a maximum target acquisition range of 5 kilometers. The commander benefits from an independent panoramic sight with laser range-finding capabilities, providing a 360-degree view. The tank integrates data from various sensors into a digital map interface, supported by the Beidou Global Positioning System and encrypted communication systems, facilitating coordination with other units. This comprehensive suite enables the Type 99 to operate effectively within network-centric warfare environments, enhancing its operational effectiveness. On the other hand, the US M1 Abrams tank features sophisticated situational awareness tools, such as the Advanced Targeting and Lethality Aided System, which employs artificial intelligence for rapid target recognition and engagement. The tank's fire control system includes laser rangefinders and thermal imaging, providing high accuracy in various conditions. The M1 Abrams is designed to integrate seamlessly into network-centric warfare systems, enabling real-time data sharing with other military assets. This connectivity enhances coordination and responsiveness on the battlefield, ensuring the tank remains a formidable component of modern armored forces. So, both the Type 99 and M1 Abrams tanks are equipped with advanced situational awareness systems and are capable of integration into network-centric warfare environments. Regarding cost, the development cost for military tanks like the Chinese Type 99 and the US M1 Abrams are often not publicly disclosed, making precise figures difficult to obtain. However, available information provides some insight into their production costs. The Type 99, China's third-generation main battle tank, has an estimated unit cost of approximately $2.5 million. Due to its relatively high cost, the People's Liberation Army has produced it in limited numbers, favoring more economical models like the Type 96 for broader deployment. In contrast, the US M1 Abrams has undergone various upgrades since its introduction in 1980, leading to a range of production costs. Early models had unit costs between $2.35 million and $4.3 million, depending on the variant. However, 
With advancements and enhancements over the years, the cost per unit has increased. Recent estimates suggest that the total cost of a single M1 Abrams tank can exceed $10 million when factoring in production, training, and maintenance expenses. The Type 99 tank, including its advanced Type 99A variant, is currently in active service with the Chinese People's Liberation Army, with an estimated 1,000 units operational. These tanks are primarily allocated to elite units due to their advanced features and higher production costs. While the Type 99 is a cornerstone of China's armored forces, it has not been exported to any other country, and its production is limited to meeting the PLA's internal requirements. On the other hand, the US M1 Abrams, on the other hand, has been produced in far greater numbers and is widely distributed. The US military operates approximately 6,296 Abrams tanks across various models, including the M1A1 and M1A2. Moreover, the Abrams has been exported to several allied nations, such as Egypt 1,005 units, Saudi Arabia 373 units, Iraq 140 units and Australia 59 units. This extensive distribution highlights the tank's reliability and its adoption as a trusted asset in global defense partnerships. In summary, the Type 99 and the M1 Abrams represent two different philosophies in tank design and deployment. This comparison reflects the evolving strategies of modern armored warfare, where technology and adaptability continue to shape the future of combat vehicles. Which tank do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.